Good morning, this is Clay Trader at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they unfold live. Market opens up here any second now. Have an order out here on CAB uh, to short at 58.35. So we'll see what happens. I might as well wait around. Market should be opening up any second now. So let's, there we go. Market is now open. And this one is definitely not starting off with a very big bang, but usually there can sometimes be a little bit of a delay. All right, I will pause it. And if I'm looking like I'm gonna get any trades on uh, the table, I will uh, try to do my best to capture the entry point. So let's see what happens. All right, have an order at 1975. Is it gonna move down that far? Well, that remains to be seen. That would just be my opening order but I was hoping for a, a little bit quicker and deeper of a plunge after 20. So I'm still willing to give a little bit of an opportunity, but I'm not gonna sit around forever. So I'm trying to let it roll, see if we can f get another break of 20. And maybe the second break it'll get moving a bit faster, but Not really looking like it. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it. All right, going for some shares here at 455 on CBLI. Don't wanna chase and buy the top, but if it can pull back here a little bit, I'd be interested in that. Just a thousand shares on a sub five dollar stock, so uh, by no means is it anything huge or anything like that. And now it's taken off again. Let's see if it can pull back here some. Quite a few buyers, it seems, at 465 right now. All right, I will pause it. Okay, I am well in with 200. All right, is it? Okay, I guess I got 200. So I'm just going to go ahead and. I'll put these at 65 just because, hey, why not? So we'll see. Uh, I will obviously look to, oh, there we go. Let me, 35, see if I can get some of those. Shoot, wasn't fast enough. So let's see if I can get some at 35, 20, and 15. Here on the pullback. Alright, I will pause it and keep you updated. Alright, I got those at 35. So I'll put that out there at 445. Still just 700 shares. I mean, I originally wanted the 1,000. So I mean, I'm not even at my, my original. It's looking like this wants to pull back some more. So let's try. So now I'm at 415 and 407. if you can hear that and I don't know if the mic's picking that up but my son Trip is hanging out with me right now he's crawling around my feet got to make sure he doesn't press the power button okay got those excellent so now at 1200 shares uh oh this thing's going to get halted and I'm going to get stuck in it here it's not letting me out let me get out, and there's the halt. Well, that's great. Now I'm stuck in a halt. All righty, well, let's see uh, what happens with it. Well, 
Luckily, I only have 1,200 shares, so I guess I'll look at things on the bright side here, but I will pause it, and uh, we'll see how this all unfolds now. A few minutes later, still halted. Do have an order out on HOG. Let's see if I, I can try to do a, a quick scalp while this is still halted, but no nibbles on that. So yeah, just kind of trying to keep an eye on this and the market as a whole. Halter just such a pain. So uh, at least right now on the bright side, it's not like doesn't seem to be gapping down huge on me or anything, uh, but not much move it. So uh, probably won't get it when it first starts trading again, just because it can be so random. Uh, but I will keep you updated. All right, it is back. Pulling back a little bit more, but lots of times you like to pull back and then snap back up. So we'll see what happens with it. See if I can get some at 385. Get some at 395 too. Okay, got almost all of them at 3.95. See if we can get back up over four. If we can get above four, I should get a, a decent sized little pop here. Average right now, $4.10. As expected, quite a bit of selling right here at the, the $4 mark. Oh, it's just kind of a waiting game here. Does it want to bounce off the purple line, the 50 period simple moving average? It's trying. Okay, $4.10, my average with 2,400 shares. Again, does it want to bounce off four? All right, I will pause it, and if it looks like it's gonna get up through four, I'll get uh, the video recording again. All right, going for a break of four here. We're trying to, you know, I need to lighten the load here a little bit, just take a loss. Well, I do like the chances that I can get up above four. I'm gonna try to hold hold steady here. <laughs> Definitely a seller sitting up there at four. All right, I will pause it. All right, trying at four again. Whether or not it breaks through remains the big question. And once again, struggling. There's four again on the offer. Can it finally push through? Let's see. All right, I'm going to lighten the load there at uh, 397. So it only gave me 300 of that. So I am taking a loss on those shares. Let's 
Let's see if I can get back up there or not. Obviously, this one is really tightened up now all of a sudden, which halts tend to do and why they're so annoying and frustrating. Such good trading action, and then after the halt, I mean, pretty much crickets now. All right, I will pause it. All right, uh, moving back up, seeing if I can get my final 300 sold here at 97. But this thing is just... All right, got those out at 397. So took a loss, wanted to lighten up the load just because I got to start to just kind of... I'm accepting the fact that this could very well be a losing trade here just unless volume all of a sudden surges back in. But uh, this $4 break is just being quite stubborn. Not going to give up on it yet, but uh, it's... It's had quite a few opportunities and just hasn't been able to get through it. So maybe this will be the time it can get through it, but I'm not going to hold my breath. So I will pause it. I'll keep you updated. All right, going for a break of four again. But as you've seen time and time again, four is very, very stubborn. Okay, there's the break. Let's see what kind of movement we can get off of that, if any really at all. Not gonna lie, was hoping for a, a bigger surge than that, given how stubborn it was. So I'm trying to get some sold here at 405. So I have 100 sold at 405, or 100 of my 600. You can see the order down here. And back below $4 it goes. Give it a, another opportunity to try to get up above four here, but at this point, things are looking kind of shaky. Even now, can't I have that much confidence in it? Maybe I'll be bluntly wrong here and this thing will explode, but just based on the trading action, we're going to stick with it. Like I was saying, on the break of four, I thought, you know, it, it, it bring a little bit more fireworks than, you know, just moving three cents or whatever it did. I guess I moved five cents because I technically got filled up at 405, but. Let's see if it wants to give it another go to the upside. All right, got all those out at 405. See if it can, this thing is just slow as molasses right now. My next order is at $4.12. Which seems like a mile away at this point in time. All right, I'm gonna unload another at 397. And what I'm gonna do here is just put a stop loss down below 90. So this is either going to start to really run and I'll just follow it up or it's gonna pull back and I'll, I'm, I just want out at this point in time. So stop 389 and I want to sell. Just making sure I have all the numbers. Yeah, 389. So, and I'll just move this up as it as it goes itself. But yeah, this is gonna this is a losing trade unless this something crazy happens and this really gets bouncing. But at this point in time, actually, I'm gonna do 398 now. So it's either gonna break back below four dollars and I I just want out, or there's gonna be some sort of bounce that starts to happen, and uh, I'll, I'll I'll ride it up. But at this point. The law, it's a loss, just really a question of how big is the loss going to be, or is this thing going to, you know, get some sort of bounce in the upwards direction, but yeah, you saw it here, 
halt totally wiped out the momentum, totally wiped out the volume. And that's why I'm not a fan of halts. Even if I would have made money, I would have still complained about halts because I do not like how they take control out of your hands. It's just a, a frustrating situation. So looking like I'm going to get stopped out here. And I am out for a $260 loss on the halt. So, well, the good news is it's only 10-10, so still plenty of time left in the day to, uh, you know, potentially get back to the green side. But as far as this video is concerned, I'm going to wrap things up as uh, we're almost at 16 minutes. So I'll talk uh, quickly here. If you enjoyed the video, uh, yeah, I really don't want to post this, but who can, what, whatever. It is what it is. Halts happen. But hey, I will say this right now, looking at the trade action, I'm glad I put that stop loss in because now it's uh, pulling back quite a bit. But anyways, uh, if you enjoyed the video, click that like button. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Lots of other videos on it. If you're interested in trading alongside me and other traders, you can go to claytrader.com and uh, click on that inner circle tab. That is our private trading group where there's a chat room and a weekly newsletter. And then also if you're interested in learning how to trade uh, with charts, uh, again, I offer training courses at claytrader.com. So uh, yeah, welcome to the reality of trading. I don't like posting losses. Who does? But uh, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. So let's just keep it real. And uh, the halt got me. The halt got me for sure. So uh, I'll see you back next week. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point 